Okay, so here's um, obviously using Google Earth. I found the Klong here, and obviously this is the Chao Pai River. So the first point I just set out a transect along there. This is 100 meters long, and um, basically the idea was to select systematic locations along that. Now I just thought as an example, I just measured 100 meters to here to start the first quadrant. I mean, you could do it on the left and the side at that particular point, the left and the right of the clog. So if you zoom in a little bit, well that's out, but we'll zoom in. So to have a go, I set up two quadrats here using the ruler. So it's very easy to use, as you probably know. Um, we can just like click on here and measure until we're up to, in this case, it's 50 meters. Now I've done it not exactly, I would expect the students to be much more exact. So this larger one is a 50 minute meter quadrat. So obviously in here, in this 50 meter quadrat, we need to find, um, first of all, the vegetated area, and then the area that's got some kind of buildings. Um, now I just decided to do the vegetated area because it was a smaller amount of space so it was easier to calculate. So what I did was I um, just measured these vegetated areas and took it away from the total area. Now obviously this is 2,500 meters, this whole quadrat. So um, I started off by just measuring the area. So this one was 35.9 meters um, there. And we can times that by, we could clear that now, or we could just like click back on here. Oops, whoops. Clear this again. So 35, and then times that by this one, which is 14.2. Uh, okay, and then of course I would do that for the same, for this area too. So I do exactly the same thing and add those together, those two areas. Okay, then I take it away from the whole area and I'm left with the um, actual bit that's built up. Okay then from there you can simply calculate the index which um, you'll see on the sheet that I've given you which is here the total area of the buildings divided by the total area so for that one when I actually worked it out the big quadrat here it was 1757.59 divided by 2500 which was 0 0.7 so that's a f that's a high index. So there's a lot of urban and built up areas in that in that particular quadrat. But looking at the two quadrats, I also did that with a smaller one, and that came out as 0 0.5, and because obviously it's about half vegetation. So I think it's probably better to use larger quadrats um, at the various sites that we're going to be using. So that's it.